working on this old gal today. So anyways, <laughs> this little piece of junk. <laughs> so not running. We just started with voltage. I should have 24 volts somewhere. Did not have it there. Here's the thermostat back there, but I have my 24 volts there. So then I traced that down and found out I was losing it at this splice up here. Had this super old, crusty kind of ancient electrical tape, some kind of cloth tape. And that's how the splice was done. So I've just got that kind of reconnected temporarily. I need to put some wire nuts on it. But after getting voltage, I'm still not running. And I noticed that one of these limits, well, one of these safeties, these thermocouple safeties was holding it out, breaking my voltage. So I've got my pilots going. And I've talked about this method before on thermocouples where you can measure them unloaded, but you really need to load them to see if they're actually capable of putting out voltage. So I have one meter lead connected to the outer copper jacket and I skinned it back and got to the wire inside and I'm connected there. On my meter, I've got about 17 or 18 millivolts DC. But if I go and I put a little bit of a load on this, this is hard to do one handed. Get it here. There we go. Going in there, dropping out to zero. If I take this back out now, you can see my voltage comes back. I put it under a load, zero. So this thermocouple is just not capable of supplying the necessary current that I need. You see, as soon as it touches in there, drops to zero. So even though it's putting out voltage and if you tested it open circuit, it would appear like it could power the solenoid in here, it cannot. Now, the other thing that I did to test the control is I went ahead and took this thermocouple off, which killed the pilot, but I was able to use that in here and then heat the pilot with a, um, uh, with a torch and get those on. So anyways, uh, just a few tips there for working on the old, old crusty boiler.